Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Streamlined. Today we will be discussing about transport equations or what we call conservation equations. First you have the Navier-Stokes equation which is basically the momentum conservation equation. Using this you can predict the velocity profile in any medium. Second you have the energy equation which is basically used for conservation of energy and using this equation you can find the temperature profile in any medium. And third you have the species transport equation. You can find the local concentration of species in any part of the medium using this equation. If you see these three equations carefully, you will see there is a common form that these three equations have. Let's see. Let's take the Navier-Stokes equation. This is basically used to obtain a velocity field in a medium. Now, if we replace u by a term phi, Then we will see an equation of a form which is known as the general transport equation. The first term is known as the temporal term which gives the rate of increase of the property phi. The second term in this is known as the convective term which denotes the net rate of flow of the property phi out of a fluid element. The third term is known as the diffusive term which gives the rate of increase of the property phi due to diffusion. And the fourth term is so the source term which basically includes any other source which can cause the rate of increase of the property phi. So this is the basic form using which we can write any of the other transport equations. Let's try to make the navier stokes equation from the general transport equation. What you see here is the general transport equation with a variable phi. Now, if we replace this variable phi with the velocity u, then you can see that it almost looks like a navier stokes equation. And also, if you change the source terms with the pressure term and the source term, and the diffusion term with mu that is the dynamic viscosity then we get the navier stokes equation similarly we can also write the energy equation from the general transport equation by replacing phi with i i hope you like this explanation kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos